My name is Raul Ayala. I'm an Ecuadorian based artist, a teaching artist, a muralist, painter, a drawer. Yeah, it was a, it was a very profound experience. We just also created a, a big mural really close. So we have been working for the past three weeks together. And uh, for, with some of them, I've been working for like, four years. So I have a, a, a you know, sustained connection with them and a relationship with them. For me, it's important also to have this intergenerational aspect. So that way, those traces, transmission, some sort of transmission of knowledge. I'm trying to channel that knowledge also from my previous, my ancestors. I was working in collaboration with uh, Groundswell, which is an organization that I have been working for the past seven years. We did the Bowery mural. I did it as a response of the current times. So the name of the piece is To Open a Portal. Thinking about this exact moment that we're living, point of intersection between a possible future and the past that we just have been living. In the past, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of, especially here in America, there's a lot of blatant racism. And there's also this disrespect of nature that created the characteristics and the, the, the space for the viruses to cross to other you know, beings, so that way like the pandemics are something that is not new, but they're gonna continue to happen if we keep disrespecting na nature in the way that we are due to you know, capitalist systems and extraction systems and imperialist systems. All of that kind of interjected in this exact moment. And the idea is that by putting down old symbols of power of this book, patriarchy or of this capitalist system, of this unjust, racist, white supremacist system. Tearing down those monuments, those symbols of power, in that aggressive action, there's also an opportunity. There's also a chance to create a new future, to speculate what is possible. What are we changing? What is at the core of our practice and what is also something that needs to, needs to change, needs to go away. In the center of the piece, violent act, but it's, there's also this opportunity to grow into a different direction. And the way, for me, the way that I'm proposing to do that in the design is to look back to how do we connect to each other. That's, that's actually in the pandemic for me, even though in the mural there's not necessarily symbols of the coronavirus, but for me what brought the pandemic is the fact that I need to take care of my relationships. In the mural you'll see intergenerational connection and knowledge being shared. Specifically the traditional quilting, there were spaces where people used to gather not only to you know create this symbolic quilt but also to party or to connect or to tell stories or to pass knowledge. We're also not necessarily just connected to each other but the idea of health, the idea of, of a new reality, a, a new future, is also relationships to nature, a relationship to uh, our environment. Many animals in the mural that, are part of the, that were part of the ecosystem of this island, and also very symbolic animals on different Andean cosmogonies, where I'm from. So my, my idea was also to bring plants and animals as part of the relationships that we need to care as part of the relationships that we need to bring forward in order for us to create this new future. In the other side, there's symbols of white supremacy and symbols of progress or capitalism. Difficult and powerful conversation to have with the organizers and the, and the owners. For me to be able to address the importance of including those symbols 
that created a lot of really rich conversations that were very important for me. That was like a starting point. The starting point for me is like, we need to talk about these issues. We need to talk about these symbols. We need to put them on front, in front, but then also construct this other aspect, which is more speculating on a possible future. What can be different? What, what is at the table and what needs to change? I also had a collaboration with Golden Paints. So they managed to have donation from them. So this is actually the first time that I, that, that I use this, this type of acrylic that is uh, specifically for mural making. It has a lot of pigment and it's a very strong paint. We laid out the grid, an organic grid, had a team of 10 people. They mixed the colors and we started laying out the, blocking the colors. And then again, like some of them are really, really good. So I kind of directed by skill level uh, so for some people to manage the values a little more than others, high in values. And then I went with the line work and finished up tightening everything together with with my line. That's usually how I, uh, how I go about making murals with, with a team of people. I think I, I started doing graffiti when I just, when I was a teenager, but then I switched to brushes because for me, is the medium that I know the best. So I don't consider myself like a graffiti artist in any, in any way. Uh, what I do is more urban art or art that, it, that is art that is on the public space. I use brushes. That's the way that I can achieve what I need to. Today we did a performance piece called To Walk an Along the River. It's a reflection on the importance of water and the historical aspects of remembering water in its context. There was a waterway here that actually came to this location and went all the way to the East River. By looking at cartography, by looking at maps and history, I wanted to retrace and bring up the energy of water so we can also remember its importance and also its place and how the layer of the city has has changed and how now there's a resurgence of this connection that it needs to it's important for us to start to remember different aspects of, of live a proper life and I think one of those aspects is constant relationship to the environment and the context that you are in. So I wanted to remember water as a, as a not only as a symbol of power, but also as an element with the sustainable, sustains us as, as, as human. There's a lot of symbols in the banner that we, that I created. It's a processional banner. The intention was to walk all the way from the East River to this exact location, trying to trace the waterway uh, as soon as close as possible. The ritual that we created is in response to a racing flag, to, to raise a flag, position ourselves in that, in that context. And I was working with some of my students. The symbols that are on the banner are uh, the jaguar and the snake, two main important symbols on the banner. The jaguar is the water, the male water, the water of the sky, the rain and the snake is the river water, the female water. So I wanted to have those two very important deities and elements that represent water to put them together, bring again this, this memory back. So this uh, banner will stay here for about six months and it's gonna be like a part of the cultural aspects of this street. watching this video uh, if you like what, what I do uh, you can you can find me in my website at travelayala.net or in my Instagram at Nampu Ayala.